Pisces, welcome. It's the Rainbow Wizard. I will be doing your reading. It is for the second or third week, sorry, of November uh, 2024. Uh, I'm going to do a love spread with you today uh, and uh, get specific messages about a specific person. You be the judge of who this person is for you, Pisces. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really appreciate your time um, and uh, I hope you're doing amazing. Thank you for your loves, your likes, <laughs> your comments, and uh, all the good stuff. Um, and also, welcome to anyone that is new viewing this channel. Please check out other signs in your chart as well. So, I am almost ready to do your reading. Um, I'm just gonna give it an extra shuffle. It starts so early now, I cannot believe it. <laughs> It's, uh, I just had to have a nap before. That's not happened. So that means it is autumn. <laughs> For sure. I hope uh, you are getting into the autumn or almost winter groove wherever you are. Or maybe you, it is summer where you are. So especially if you're in Australia, it's the other way. <laughs> so lucky you. Here we are going to have winter. I don't really mind it so much, actually. All seasons, each season has its charm, right? So... We have the Eight of Swords. You could feel like you ha you feel trapped in a situation where this could be a work situation or someone that you're collaborating with. You feel like, okay, where do you want to go? Um, what should I focus on? Where's the best situation for me? Um, yeah, I, I feel like you are sort of evaluating what to do. Um, now, <laughs> someone that perhaps left your life is going to return to your life Um I feel here, Pisces, there will be positive changes, really positive changes. Someone here is, um, it's, uh, they want to give you a lot of attention. They don't want to hold back. Uh, there might have been an end of a third party situation. Maybe distance was an issue, but suddenly things are looking up. You know, I'm seeing here that uh, someone, uh, they hope to be able to get close to you to give, uh, to open up. Yeah, uh, this person might be a father figure. They might have a child again. Um, this might be a twin flame. I feel here that harmony is going to show up in your life when you least expect it. Now, you might have had the last you've seen of someone. It doesn't have to be this person. But the last you've seen of someone, there was someone that was a player. Uh, I know there for a good time, not for a long time. A handsome, beautiful there's a certain sex appeal with this person, a bit wild. And that was the last you've seen of this person. Now, this person here, and if it, it's the same person, um, I feel like they're, they want to come back. They want to fix something here. Now, if it is this person, your intentions is to find your happiness and harmony. And it's definitely to be strategic as well. Uh, Especially if you believe it is someone that left you on bad terms or you left them and it wasn't on good terms, basically. Your intentions is to be very cautious and stay clear of this person. I also feel here you could be making changes, um, uh, Pisces, when it comes to fight your finances, perhaps, as well. I feel here that there is a new romance that is going to heat up here. There might be some jealousy around you, but I don't really think it's in the center. It's almost a situation here that is changing, that you will receive some green-eyed monsters on you, and it's going to just be that way. So it's almost like, do with it as you please, there, it, you can't do anything about it. You can sort of dive into the energy and, and think, oh my God, someone is jealous. Let's think about that. Or you can just be like, well, that's just how it is. Something like that come up. But I'm going to look into it a bit further. Here it is a, you are following your intuition, but you're also following tradition. You're also following this kind of cycle of life. So a long cycle will be coming to an end. Some, If there has been some block on your finances, this is clearing up. I feel here that... Uh, something that hurt you, that put you down, and now it's time for you to move forward. And I feel just like if you have felt like your hands are tied and you just don't know where to go, or it's like you feel just like, okay, I don't, your head is like in the clouds or your head is frozen, your mind is frozen. You just feel like, okay, I'm too tired to, to make a decision. I don't know what the decision to make. I just, you know, I just don't know, but you're gathering some information. So, but anyhow, 
uh, it's going to be a major release here at Pisces. The Psalm is the happiest card in the deck. So really happy news here. Really, really happy news is going to shine its light on you, Pisces. So very happy to see that. Um, okay, I'm going to uh, clarify. So, um, okay, who is this person? They could have Aries in their chart. I'm getting Aries, uh, Taurus. It's coming up. Um, Leo. Aquarius, Scorpio. So the emperor in their feelings, they really want to take charge, control. They want to be the masculine. Uh, they want to, you know, again, be someone that will add value to your life. They want to be your counterpart. They want to be your person. They really want to show up for you here at Pisces. They want to impress you as well. They are very attracted to you and, uh, well, they are not going to hold back. This person and you feel that, okay, you are meant to be uh, it's a lot of affection, a lot of attention, um, and this person is kind of like coming towards you full guns blazing. Now they can express their feelings. Um, I feel here that you're dealing with a divine counterpart, but they are appearing in sort of different energies. So I feel that they are um, they they aim to offer you commitment, but they hope to give you their emotions and their heart sooner rather than later. Uh, I feel this person here is. Uh, yeah, I mean, if they kept their feelings hidden or if they were lying to other people about how they feel, they're not going to lie about their feelings. They're not going to stay hidden um, long any longer. I feel this person, uh, they have told people uh, that they want to be in a relationship with you. Um, I feel this person have kind of told, yeah, they've told someone about you here, Pisces. Yeah, I feel that this person is like, yeah, this is what I'm doing. I'm going to give to Pisces and uh, yeah, I'm going to take responsibility. I'm going to hold myself accountable here. All right. But they could view you as avoiding them as well, which you are. And you could, they could view you as not wanting to reconcile. That's how they view you, but they don't want to give up here. And I can have another card on the strength here. They could be Leo. They're keeping an eye on you. Um, Another card here, Aries. So I feel here we, you're dealing with a divine counterpart. This person here, they know that... Mm, okay, this person know where you're sad, I'm getting. They know where, where you would look, look at them as an ending. It's something uh, that is obvious. So it's more like, okay, we. I need to sort of wait, wait. I mean, I need to wait for the right moment. It, it is what it is. It's not. I can't just um, reverse an ending overnight. But um, I am confident that with the right the right effort basically and and if i fight for uh pisces i can i can make this you know work or i can turn this around so they're confident that they will do that <laughs> they are moving heaven and earth uh to come towards you here i do see someone that is like they view you as their person they view you as they want to take control they want to uh show you uh you know their love for you as well like there's a big sort of awakening around the situation um so you can just sit back and watch Pisces. I think that you are going to be quite, um, I feel like you will be very happy, shocked as well. Uh, the sun card for Pisces feelings, please. Why is the sun here? So we have Leo energy again. Um, it's a really sweet card. We have two babies in there as well. So it's like new feelings it's starting fresh. Um, yeah, and uh, celebrating, celebrating good news. Yeah, there's going to be celebration of good news. Uh, your talents are being celebrated, feeling on top of the world as well. Uh, with the three of swords and then, um, okay, this, this wanted to come out. Okay, so I feel here someone was giving to someone else whilst they wanted to give you attention. And perhaps they gave you attention without ending a relationship or without being in a position to truly give equally. And because they didn't, um, were not in a position and there was no communication, there was no understanding about the matter, there was confusion. So there is kind of fear about the situation. Someone here, uh, I mean, I think, I feel you, there's someone here is hiding. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Okay, someone here is hiding their feelings, hiding that they're coming forward. Uh, why is the Seven of Swords here again for Pisces? You do you see someone, okay, you could see someone like, you're like, is someone hiding, you're hiding their feelings. You could view someone as very wealthy. Um, yeah, you're, you, you're, your intention is to stay away from someone until you know that they have made a choice and that 
this person doesn't have anyone else. Yeah, you want to see big change when it comes to this person. Uh, like, otherwise, you will not. Yeah, you feel here that you were dealing with someone very reckless. Um, you judge this person here. I feel here it's possible that this person is not the same person. You were dealing with an immature energy in the past. Um, okay, why is the three of pentacles here? Okay, someone, there was some gossip in a work situation about, there could have been some gossip here that came out that wasn't true even, and it hurt you, it hurt your work situation, or it hurt this relationship here. Why is the two of pentacles here in the current situation? We have, yeah, okay, so someone is leaving a commitment, or they left a commitment here, um, yeah, I feel that is happening. Now, they are closing the cycle, you have your independence here, uh, this is a, a deep, deep spiritual connection. It could be, it could have taken both of you by surprise. Like maybe, like you decided, uh, okay, I don't really believe in love. I had, I've had like an unfair situation happening to me. And I feel here that you, I feel here Pisces that you are feeling happier now because you have laid a situation to rest where someone was immature. It was the lovers, like a game here. Uh, someone was in and out of your life and uh, this person could be coming back to apologize, but I feel, yeah, okay, let's, let's see here. The page of cups for Pisces, the page of cups. Oh gosh, there is one person that is coming. Yeah, this person is going to come back, the lovers. Okay, someone is coming out of the call that goes to you, yeah, uh, and the five of pentacles here, please, yeah, so someone that left you out in the call that goes to you, they still have feelings for you, and this person will come back, and this person, I feel that you are, uh, you have moved away from this person, all right, um, and, and I feel that you will continue to move away from them. Pisces. Um, why is the, uh, let me see, I'm going to find another. There is someone here that's holding on to you, but I feel the person that you're moving forward with is someone else. Uh, the Empress, someone is very attracted to you. I feel someone is wealthy here. Someone could be a leader. Uh, this person is, um, you know, they, they, it's like, they feel like this connection with you or you have come into their life at the perfect time, all right? I feel here there is a person from your past that will come back at the same time. It's going to happen, like, I feel someone is being strategic the way they come into your life and this person have feelings for you and slowly but surely they are making moves, like a natural process. This person... Yeah, there, there has been an ending with someone, so there could have been a third party situation, especially if you're dealing with the Taurus and they are dealing with the Leo, so that's quite specific. Um, they could have left the family behind, but I'm certain here there is two people, oh my goodness. The readings are really complicated today. Anything else here on the Eight of Wands for Pisces? Okay, yeah, you are rejecting someone. You are certainly rejecting someone. The, the Hierophant. Okay, person here that you, you have a, a telepathic connection with them. They are under the radar, but they're going to make themselves known. Someone is going to... Someone is hoping to be able to connect with you and share their feelings. But someone in their feelings, like you are their purpose. It can be that this person is the same person. They are just going to be relentless. But you are like, no way, Jose, kind of thing here. Uh, because you see this person bringing you burdens. They had options. You feel very happy now. So you're very cautious with, you know, anyone. I feel here that, you know, there is someone you view as wealthy and someone that can make you happy. But I feel like it's not them, clearly, because there is a person that you're avoiding, for sure. Okay, with the Ace of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups, please. Yeah, there is a new person that you view uh, as, as, as your person. Mm. 
love invitation romance and you're enjoying this romance without uh, someone that doesn't have any baggage or you don't have any let's say past history in us in a way that is negative um i feel here that yeah new opportunity it's a uh, conf confidence victory progress milestone all right yeah there is a person from your past that is bitter yeah, there is a person from your past that's really bitter. They could have Capricorn, Aries, or Libra in their chart. Or this is someone that has abused their, abused their authority. You know, they're not who they say they are. They are, are two-faced. There is a cause effect. Truth is revealed. Illegal matter. There, someone had to be resilient. I feel... I mean... There is a situation here with an emperor. I'm going to pull another deck. There is a situation here with an emperor. Let's see. Okay, so what is the situation? Someone is keeping an eye on you. Someone is getting themselves on back up on their feet, but maybe you've never seen them on their feet. Um, you have seen someone that is a thief around you. Yeah. Someone is healing, um, relaxing, meditating. So this could be someone that is overcoming um, a big ending in their life that really took its toll on them. But who is this <coughs> Knight of Wands? Who is this Knight of Wands? Okay, uh, someone is coming in with a lot of passion. This could be a twin flame. This person here had, had a lot of opportunities, options, their choices. They were, you know, chasing their illusions. Uh, they could be sort of like unrealistic. They thought that you will stick around, stay around. There is someone here that was very immature. They did hurt you. You walked away from this person and now you are ice cold. All right. Someone is intimidated by you. They are intimidated. They fear that, again, someone here has fear, like really, like a lot of fear. They, they are making their own ideas in their head about what fear is and how, like, it's like you make, like it's your fault in a way <laughs> when it's not. Uh, this page of wands situation here, what is that? Page of Wands and uh, okay, so Queen of Wands, upright, courage, confidence, independence. So I think you were dealing with a situation. If you're dealing with Aries or fire sign, doesn't have to be, but I feel here there was just someone that was just like always quite <laughs> was sexually driven towards you. Even if that wasn't the case for you, they could have been in a relationship as well. And there could have been a third party. At some point, you considered moving forward with this person here. And this person, they left your life, but they want to come back into your life. But I feel there's another person here as well. There is a King of Cups that is hoping to be able to share their feelings for you here quite soon. Uh, I'm going to... Yeah, I feel here this person... Someone is very um, manipulative here. They use arguments. Okay. There is a person here that have water elements in their chart that is coming out of a third party situation. But again, I feel that's the second, situa second situation here. So either you're separating from someone like that or there is an argument ongoing It's uh, and it's hard for this person to release or move on so it's a stressful situation um and this could also be something that is happening near you i mean you could be if you're hierophant so again it could be a big company maybe there's a lot happening and you're just sort of tired of gossip but yeah there's something about being tired of gossip tired of people talking it's like you're trying to get away from it trying to stay clear of drama with the six of cups and the hierophant and the high priestess is truly a spiritual message here that it's like there will be a new cycle there this, you, the two of you have manifested each other uh this connection might not have started yet there is true romance here all right mm, and i feel here that i really feel here pisces that the time of no action is gone this 
connection here. This connection here, well, let me tell you that uh, the time of no action is over. So I do see someone that you're staying clear of, keep doing that because I feel the chapter is closed with you and someone and maybe you have a final interaction with them, whatever that means to you. That could be, okay, you end up looking at someone's pictures and you realize, actually, I don't even want to look at their pictures or, or you go for a coffee with them or you interact with them social media and you make they make you feel like, oh, you're back to square one or you see that this person will never change. It's possible as well. However the interaction is, I feel it has to happen because it will like put that final needle in the coffin and, and you, you just know here, okay, well, that's over. I don't really feel bad about the situation. I've given it a chance. I have, there's something about at least looking at the person and giving them a chance, but you already know that this person is, well, you, you have made a judgment call on them and that's that. You're not going to reverse it. So I see moving on, moving on. You are, it's like the end of no action. Um, things are just really changing at high speed. Uh, Pisces and it's, yeah, it's like happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, openness, enjoying each other. This is exciting. Um, you, yeah. Many options, decision, unconditional, like unconventional, string along, one night stand. Yeah, I, I see here Pisces. Yeah, again, and I said uh, underlying energy is coffee cup and, and not today. Yeah, so you are like, oh God, I said, uh, it's almost like, what? This person coming in now? Like, oh, there is someone here that annoys you. But I feel here, as you actually have released someone for good and moving towards your happiness, you just know this is your happiness. Someone will show up and just be like, oh, well, just go out for that one more drink. Or there is something like that. And you are just um, going to, you are just going to roll your eyes. I'm seeing, <laughs> you're just going to roll your eyes and you're going to say, thank God. Thank you, spirit, my spirit guides, or whichever you will, whoever you will thank, maybe just yourself, uh, that you did not move forward with someone or stay with someone here because that there that's not what you you want to do here someone could be going through like this healing and they've ended a cycle and again they are going through a rebirth it is possible but i see regardless here there is a person that you are not going to open your heart open up for you have closed your heart there's no feelings for this person but there will be an interaction a strange bizarre interaction um now this person here that's coming towards you however this is someone that feels a bit um again marriage this person could have strong earth elements i'm picking up taurus capricorn or i'm picking up cancer um yeah cancer energy is here this person is uh like their journey is starting again here. I feel like, okay, I really see someone here, Pisces, that was like a thief of your energy, or they could be a thief, they could have a child. I feel someone here is coming towards you and is like, Pisces, help me. Like they are, you know, I've uh, like nothing have changed about them. They haven't changed their job, haven't changed their... I mean, it's not, not so much about a job, but I feel someone doesn't, haven't changed who they are or they... Like they kept the same, you know, they haven't even changed health habits. If they have bad health habits, they haven't changed anything at all. Like they're exactly the same. And and it's just like this, uh, this person you're moving towards, they are more like you, like you have changed. You made important changes. You feel that you are improving yourself versus, you know, this person here was kind of, you're just holding you back. There is a cord between you and this person. So perhaps that is why maybe you're cutting the cord as well. But as you are opening up to receive this new love here, it's like, wow, your, your whole life is changing overnight. You can move forward with someone that we have Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. So, uh, and we also have air elements and I'm getting cancer. But either way, this person's mature. This person is again like I feel you are on the same page here. Um yeah it's very exciting. Very very exciting Pisces. Um and it's saying here if you feel trapped it could be because you have 
not cut the cord with someone you feel a bit sort of why am i feeling this energy why am i feeling even thinking about this person and, and why are they texting me <laughs> so it's someone like that you were just sort of okay well they're never far away uh this person here uh it, it's just someone here that it, it's just codependent on you they are codependent of nature and perhaps uh, at some point you were codependent on them or they made you sort of there was this bond between the two of you like you there's also fun when you have fire a fire sign here so it's fun is lost but it's a different chapter of your life and and i feel here with the red flags you are like you're gonna see so, so many red flags about this person like you you knew the red flags were there but you're gonna see the red flags <laughs> You are literally going to see the red flags, like you, you just see them coming from a mile's distance and it's a, it's a one big red flag around them. <laughs> um, but most importantly here, uh, you are going to move towards someone where you open your heart and is giving and receiving equally very soon, extending your light, hearted energy, playfulness, recapturing the romance, your feelings are worth, um, are real and worth exploring. This is having fun. This is magic in the air. It's like, oh, oh my God, am I living, do I live in a fairy tale? What is happening? Because a moment ago you felt like your life was stagnant or your mind, your mind has been locked. Like, I feel you've been locked into a situation and kind of felt like a um, hamster in a wheel. Your thoughts have been the same thoughts because of a situation around you or a cord you've had to someone. Uh, and, and now that cord is cut or the cord to the situation that you have separated yourself to a situation that took its toll. Again, made you sort of stuck in a loop with thoughts that is not really thoughts that you wanted to. To have or you didn't even want to participate in a situation and and then you know you you've been stuck so someone is making plans here the star again um, I feel this person is going to well they are someone very grounded very calm um, anything else here but well, the star is very exciting energy the star I mean this is a uh, well again the star the star Ace of Cups, um, uh, and we have the world, and we have the Page of Pentacles. Really positive, um, really positive energies. And again, we have the, the Chariot, so it's like major arcanas. Uh, this person is like, I can't wait to get to Pisces. Like, this is this is this is where I need to be now. Uh, you know, the, it's it's like it's like they're going towards. Like they're they're Alice in Wonderland and they're gonna dive in and they they are free of their burdens basically. Uh, but this person they there is someone here. I mean they're hoping to. It's like they want to give you luxury. They want it like they are coming in with. So they're coming in. You know. Okay, I'm all good by myself. But this person is going to offer you a relationship. And the Ten of Pentacles. I'm I'm not kidding, Pisces. You might as well go to the wedding. Uh, what do you call wedding shop? The ring shop. Is that jewelry? I can't even speak. <laughs> I clearly haven't been. Um, so you're clearly going there, uh, Pisces because this person again is the end of no action uh this person there it is some like the energy that has been like barking at you barking up the wrong tree i'm getting it's like there's like a a weird energy that's been around it's almost like this cloud and it's been over your head and you're just wondering what you were doing under that cloud i mean the sky is so big so how comes you well, stood under that cloud for the longest time and you felt so trapped that you couldn't even breathe at some point I'm getting here so you're like ah finally there's enough oxygen yeah there's enough oxygen someone is giving you oxygen there is a significant change in your life uh I mean yeah let me tell you yeah it's uh, a massive massive change here and it's it's kind of like it's you're brushing away an energy that you sort of suddenly it's it's 
obvious to you what that energy was. Suddenly it's like, oh, I see now. Maybe someone, you know, it's just something like, ah, I see now what, what that was. I see now. I was also maybe giving like people pleasing. I was maybe giving too, too much to people. I was just being too kind. And in the end, I was getting stick for that. You know, I was being kind, but I was getting stick for it. So it's like you are figuring things out. You you realize realize perhaps that there's something about someone you intimidated them and you didn't you thought this person was more mature, but actually they were pissed off because you know something childish and they were sort of <laughs> sending you the evil eye. I don't really think it's like the evil eye or spell work or anything like that. I just feel like someone is just <laughs> very childish continuing to play a game, they are going to, they think that you are playing games with them, but you are not playing games with them, them, and, and you have let them go, but they are holding on to you, so, yeah, not your circus and not your monkeys, uh, that's what I'm getting here, <laughs> you have a serious uh, venture here, and things are just like one by one uh, of the ingredients that you have manifested with a magician, you, you are also going to feel this happiness that you have not felt in a, in a while I'm getting. So happiness isn't something you can buy, you know, you, there is, I think people go through their life and they be saying, oh, that's when I was really happy and everyone's going to have their own picture of what makes anyone happy, you know, that's, it's so, you know, it's different for everyone, but it's saying here, um, a one-night stand or a, there is something about enjoying someone's company and it is, is happening during a celebration. It's really, it's like, wow, someone is making a journey. Someone, there is someone is sending you an invite and you will meet this person and you could be a little nervous here. The eight, eight of wands is like, it's like <laughs> it's kind of it's kind of a bit yeah nervous energy it's like okay I'm going there I'm going there to have fun but it's it's uh I'm happy going there to have fun but things could be happening really fast after that so yeah there is this um playfulness and I feel that the person that you will meet uh up with you will click uh immediately and it's not a surprise to you or them, but yeah, it's uh, you still have to meet, right? Um, and and you still have to, you know, it's 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 still um, it's kind of like oh, this this could go uphill or downhill very fast, something like that. But yeah, I think both of you feel and, and know this is this feels good, this feels right. Um, there is no red flags there at, at all. Quite the opposite, actually. So. Uh, yeah, Pisces, wow. I think that you have a lot to look forward to. So um, have a great weekend. Please uh, like, subscribe, leave a comment and uh, I'll see you very soon. Take care.